an hour of my life I'll never get back. Uh, enduring Aaron Burnett and CNN. 7 o'clock show to see for myself how they're uh, covering Ohio's chemical train derailment and the ensuing natural disaster. Calamity for these people. She didn't mention it one time that I saw. She devoted the entire first half of her show to Ukraine and Ukraine's suffering, but did not mention what was going on in East Palestine one time. I decided to switch over to Tucker Carlson and uh, compare notes. He was all over it. He devoted most of his show to it, if I remember correctly, in reference to Transportation Secretary uh, Pete Buttigieg. He hammered home what I was talking about earlier, how Mayor McPete was happy to talk about racial inequality and construction crews almost completely ignored what's happening in rural Ohio. So he decided to sing the woke refrain instead of addressing what's turning into an ecological and public health disaster in the heartland. It got me to thinking about a couple of years ago, watching Rachel Meadow, before she was uh, sort of disgraced by the Russia, Russia, Russia coverage. She was all over Flint. All over it. And the left-leaning media's silence, it's deafening. Up until maybe the last day or two, I think they're kind of getting a hint how people are seeing the lack of coverage here. But up until that, I saw almost nothing. Cursory mentions. Maybe. I had to ask myself, I'm, I'm like, you know, would the coverage be so sparse? Say, for example, if this train wreck, this derailment, this chemical burn was happening in Washtenaw County up around Ann Arbor. If this was happening in Ann Arbor, do you think <laughs> the liberal media complex would be all over it? Or if it happened in Flint, of course, Gary, Indiana, where they could play the, uh, you know, twist it into a racial thing, calling it environmental racism. If they could do that, they'd be on it. I wonder if Al Gore and Greta, Grouchy Greta, someplace like Ann Arbor or Portland, Somewhere around San Francisco and California, anywhere in California, How dare you? anywhere in California, what would she be saying? What would she be saying to these railroad? What would she be saying to Mayor Pete's silence? How dare you? Yeah. Al Gore, we, nowhere. Nobody's saying anything about this. I did see, I did see, I can't say nobody because uh, Aaron Brockovich, she knows exactly what's going on. Turning to Tucker Carlson, he was asking whether the silence was because these uh, poor people were poor whites. Whether their whiteness made them unworthy victims. This is what I talked about in the open. Norm, Noam Chomsky went into this in depth in uh, Manufacturing Consent. Worthy and unworthy victims. Does the whiteness make them unworthy in some twisted spirit of equity? Does it make them less worthy than Flint's residents were a couple of years ago, as I mentioned with Rachel Meadow? This is Trump country. A lot of people talked about that during the Trump presidency where Donald Trump basically ignored counties, regions, states that uh, didn't vote for him. Is Joe Biden doing the same thing? Is his administration doing the same thing? Is Buttigieg doing the same thing? Buttigieg is from this part of the country. He lives here in Michigan now, up around Traverse City, I guess. He's from South Bend, Indiana. This happened in Ohio. He should have some connection to this, don't you think? Nothing. Is it because they're unworthy victims, being white, they can't play the race card, they can't split, spin it as a racial issue? Or is it because it's Trump country and they didn't support Dementia Joe in the election? Is it any of that? Is it any of that? Millions and millions of people are asking that same question. That internal dialogue is going on in their heads and it's happening <laughs> probably at a lot of kitchen tables, a lot of... A lot of water coolers around the country. How is this not a bigger story? How is this not drawing Greta Thunberg How dare you? and Al Gore out of the woodwork? Where are they? These poor white rednecks. Unworthy victims. Unworthy of the time. Unworthy of the coverage. Unworthy of the compassion. Unworthy of everything. They're just poor whites. Fuck them.